Uh, I'm just telling you what I learned in the last 24 hours about these. So some of it's probably bullshit. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Monday show. If you uh, seen the last video or remember me talking about posting schedule, I'm trying to do one early in the week. And then my uh, other video is going to be Friday. For sure, there will be videos on Friday. Before we get started with this video, if you haven't seen the video where I put the LS in my Monte Carlo, you got to check that out. You guys really liked that one. There was lots of interaction, got lots of views. I had originally said I wasn't going to revisit that Monte Carlo until sometime early summer, probably. You guys have spoken, and I heard you, so I'm going to get it back in there a lot sooner, hopefully a week or two here. I'll have some more stuff on it. So hang in there. We did some videos with this truck in it already. I wanted to do more of an intro and give you like a lowdown on the first few days that I had it. And it is basically ready to party. If you like the Monte Carlo, hang in there. If you like the square body, we're gonna have something on that come Friday. This thing is just gonna be more of an update video, short lived. We'll see it around the channel probably more when we uh, need it for picking up more projects. Still got the van video coming up here pretty quick, so stay tuned for that. And uh, let's get into this video. It's a 1994 Ford F700. I'm trying to eliminate the inboard brakes. Another day here, kind of just going with the flow. I had that last little clip of this truck. Uh, I picked the truck up and the previous owner had this hub off to do some brake work. Hit a leaking wheel seal. So this is like, a, it's called a Lucas Girling. There's some cans sort of like an air brake chamber on a big truck. Like an air brake chamber on a big truck. These are what they are, but they're hydraulic. Well, that one's broke. That one's broke too, so I got these parts with a unit I'll show you here in a minute. But this is like a caging bolt, like on an air brake chamber, but he broke the heads off. These are trash. I'll just throw them in the garbage. So you can cage this off and release these brake shoes. Well, that part was irrelevant to the situation at hand when I picked it up. But I couldn't get the brakes, like the brake shoes, back on because I was unsure of the configuration. So I decided to put the hub and everything back on without the brake shoes so I could move it. Which led to another problem because he took the hub off while it was still connected to these two tires. I eventually blew a nut out, I got it back on there, brought it home. I drove it. I got it from across the street from my house. And I backed it right in here and I tore the wheels off because this is a lot easier to handle without the wheels. But that is still really heavy. That's a couple hundred pounds, not to mention it's real fun to get them tires to run true for you. So this leads to a major hassle. I figured out how the brakes went on and I got it back together. When I had that hub off, I took it to a local shop that I deal with for my dump trucks crossed it over to like a hub pilot hub so you could have outboard brakes. That way you don't have to take the hub off, right? I found them, they're just shy of $500 a piece. That's just for the hub, but it's loaded. It's got bearings, seals, everything. You just put it on there, crank it down. Okay, that's good. I was willing to do that to get rid of these wheels. So I put this back together. I went in the house and uh, of course, I can't stay off the marketplace guilty like everyone else who's into things with wheels on them and I find this guy he's got this axle for sale so I got a hold of him I could see this in one of the photos so I'm like oh that'll that'll work now I was talking about the wheels there because if I buy the other ones I gotta buy wheels I gotta buy drums I can use my tires but that's still another probably four or five hundred bucks for wheels and drums I call him and tell him I'm on my way. 
Now, this ain't a big deal, but these are like bud wheels, right? You take this outside nut off, you take the outside wheel off, then you take this stud nut off, and you take the inside wheel off, and then you essentially have outboard brakes, which looking at this now, I think I may have wasted some money. <laughs> I'm not convinced right now that this is an outboard brake system. But either way, I'm gonna peel these wheels off so I can get a good look at the drum. It should be an outboard brake system. I don't know why that would be part of the hub, which is sure as hell hope it ain't because that's literally garbage if it's an inboard brake system. I have no use for it. I'm gonna get that tore off right now. Well, I'm one minute into this after I talked to you last and I've already got severe disappointment. Well, this one and this one brought the inner nut out, which essentially leads to both wheels being stuck together. Unless I get this screwed back on and put some heat on it. I think that might have broke. It's a good thing I turned my air compressor off the last time I used it because it doesn't want to turn on. I mean, it's turning on, clearly. If I would have left that on, that's a good reason to make sure your air compressor's off. Just like any of your cordless tools, you don't want to leave them on the charger because if this would have been on and it dropped to the pressure where it would have turned on, it probably would have burnt our shop down. So I don't know if I had it in a video. I think I did, but I just changed this motor sometime over the summer. I don't know this thing. The compressor itself must have been the problem. I don't even know. All right, we'll let you know. Good news, bad news. Uh, I got this all apart. That's the good news. There was a big mouse house on each side. Had he, uh, each one had a, a mouse in it. This one had one dead mouse. These drums are brand new. Of course it's dark. It's basically dark. The shoes are also pretty much brand new. But all of them are stuck on this wheel. I can get them apart. It's not a big deal, but it's a big deal because I hate these style of wheels. These guys, pfft, I guess they don't know what a mouse is yet. They're stupid cats and mice fell out of here. They didn't even chase them. They got, this has like little cone wedges in here and they siliconed all that stuff. That sucks because, well not this side, I didn't take it apart yet, but it's silicone for sure. The other side, I can't get the axle to come free because they got silicone on the seal. They got silicone in all these little cone shaped wedges that keep this kind of center. So everything's stuck together. I don't know what I'll do, soak it in gas or something. The reason I got this axle was for the hubs. Unfortunately, I thought it had hub-centric hubs on it. Uh, and I was already basically paid the guy and strapping it down on the trailer when I realized it was not. So I felt committed. Uh, I should have I pulled out and left it there. I'm gonna take it all apart and put the stuff on a shelf. And I'm probably going to buy the hub-centric hubs. Anyways, Lucas Girling brakes. They're hydraulic. This may or may not. Well, I guess transmission fluid is technically hydraulic fluid. Here's the, this is the can. You know, it simulates like an air brake chamber, but it's hydraulic. It still has a caging bolt. I guess there's a wedge in here that pushes through here, expands the wheel cylinder. This is parking brake, and there's another wheel cylinder on the opposite side right here. That's your service brake. It's got two star, like a, like a star wheel, like for your adjustment on your drum brake vehicles. There's one on both ends. You turn them clockwise to release the brake if you're uh, adjusting these brakes. 
turn them counterclockwise to tighten them up. Uh, I'm just telling you what I learned in the last 24 hours about these, so some of it's probably bullshit. I keep wanting to show you this side, but there's less light here. These Dayton wheels, again, are why I bought that. Try to eliminate these, which I wound up getting the front axle from the guy basically gave it to me just so he could have rid of it. I got this one started putting it back together. Probably jacked the truck up side to side extremely high to get oil into the hubs. And for now, I gotta put her back together, which there's nothing wrong with this, except I'm trying to eliminate the inboard brakes. The only thing I hate more than them bud wheels is these Dayton wheels. These guys. Brought it in here, I took this hub off, I had to take the torch and heat up the nuts that held the axle on because they siliconed the hell out of it and I couldn't, it just wouldn't come apart. So I heated it up, melted that silicone and then uh, it had them little wedge things like this. Put the axle on, these go in, then your washer and then your nut. These were siliconed in, then the seal was siliconed. So once I got silicone melted off of these, I was able to get the axle out, and then the rest was gravy. That's the one I got off the other day. So here I just finished doing the same thing over there. I got this axle sitting, so it's tipped down, drained quite a bit of the fluid out of here while I was taking that out because this is going outside to hang out in a scrap pile. I'm gonna come over here and put this side back together so I can get this truck out.